Hey, it's Jebo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego. And I continue the long quest of organizing this collection. So in this video, we're going to be looking at um, <laughs> how, even that's not going as planned. I think I'm turning this basement into a train basement instead of a Lego basement. And I might as well could have made this train month. We're going to be looking at another train set. This is set 78. One seven. Oh, I forgot the name of it. It's a little crane set. Uh, so we're going to be looking at that. And uh, also a wanted list item. I realize I've gotten several comments now about something I've mentioned years. I mean, many years ago on this channel. It's a, a set that I've been wanting to build. Nobody had posted the instructions. Well, now the instructions are on there. And somebody tried telling me this months ago. And I just didn't notice it. And now other people have been saying. So I appreciate everybody that has uh, noticed that. So we're going to talk about that wanted list item. And how I can now uh, likely build that. So let's get into the video. I don't know what else I'm going to do in this video. We'll just see as we go. And, and I'm wearing a Philly Brickfest shirt. <laughs> from 2017. Uh, so yeah, no conventions probably this year. Who knows? Maybe uh, later there, th that'll change. But it's weird. Uh, it's been almost a year since the last convention. We're getting close to a year since the last time there was conventions. And it's one of the things I think about the community that we really like and we all really, really miss. I mean, I know some have done online uh, conventions. It's just not the same. <laughs> It's not, it's not the same as being there in person. So hopefully that'll change. That's one of the things of 2020 that wasn't good. But overall, 2020 was actually a pretty good year. <laughs> in the it, Well, I don't want to make light of it because, I mean, it's not a good year. People got sick. A lot of people died, that type of thing. But the good thing is a lot of people started washing their hands. So that's... I, you got to look at the positives. I mean, there's so many negatives in the world. Let's look at the positives. More people were washing their hands. More people were wearing masks. Uh, I didn't get other illnesses because we're being more careful. Uh, so hopefully everybody will continue that. Not. I, I, I think what's going to happen, though, is once everybody gets past, like if the vaccines work and we get past all of it, people are going to go back to not caring about their own cleanliness and we'll get other illnesses. So don't be stupid. Uh Keep washing your hands, even after the pandemic is over. All right, enough of that. Let's get, get into uh, the rest of our video today. Yeah, it doesn't look any better, right? <laughs> it's getting there. So I got all the shelves built. I moved the roller coasters, like I said. Uh, yes, I know I need a ceiling. Don't don't worry about it. But um, So I got the Coaster Dynamics roller coasters up here. The Lego roller coaster there, and then the Coaster Dynamics Lego compatible uh, roller coaster right there. Um, it worked out pretty good. I probably got room to put the Cyclone, so I may rebuild the Cyclone roller coaster and put it there. So that's pretty good. And it turned out these old Whalen um, shelves are not, why is that not going in there? Are not exactly the same height. There's a slight variation in them. So this is this one's different than the other ones. So, it, but it doesn't matter. But this, so I intended for this to all be Lego. <laughs> Which uh, here we go. We got Lego there. <laughs> now there's the piano, and I got some. I think I'm gonna put all the trucks on this floor. I just I got to figure out. I mean, this shelf. I need to figure out where to put that piano. I got some other um, remote control vehicles, but the bottom has become. It's all Thomas and Friends stuff. So the G scale, we got O scale. And then here's, oh, we do have some Lego track. There's my brick model railroader stuff right there. There's the uh, brick link sets that I bought. That's G scale and O scale stuff in there. There's more Lego track down there. And then all the Thomas, this is all Thomas and Friends and Tomy stuff. So it's, uh, yeah, crazy. And then I got stuff that's just occupying space in the basement. So I'm going to work on figuring out what I want to do with all this stuff. I need to get rid of it. I think I just need to throw this roller coaster away. It's broken. It was a piece of junk. This is something somebody from China, company in China, sent that to me. It was garbage. 
Uh, so I got stuff I got to get rid of. Oh, I had once thought of um, starting a Playmobil channel. No, not really. Uh, just only Playmobil set I own. So I, I think using the lower shelves just for storage will be good, even if it's not Lego stuff. Eventually I'll try to get this stuff where it's not up here. I'll have it, if I, if I expand it with more shelves. And then it, actually there was a bunch of stuff here. It's what's on the shelves now in here. So that's starting to clear up. And I'm thinking I'll figure out where I want to center these tables. I may just keep these tables here in the middle. I may double this up. I may put it, this is a 4 by 8 I may put another 4 by 8 up about this high right above it. Just make it a, do, a double stacker <laughs> and go around. That way you can have twice the Lego stuff on there. I may end up lower in this one um, by about this much because most of the Sterilite containers are this height. So I just basically need to get them where they'll fit under the table so I can short, shorten these legs, bring this down, and then double stack it with another one up here above it. Uh, that's too tall, though. It'd have to go on the top. So that that's my idea, and, and just get the spacing where it's comfortable to walk in here and then have it double high. What do you think? Will that work? I hope so. So that's where all the roller coasters were going. So I'm just gradually getting all this stuff off of this table. Going to rebuild all this in a different way. I think it's going to look better once I get done. But I'm just giving you almost daily updates. Um, just as I'm doing stuff. Show that I am really am uh, working down here. And like I said in the last video, I think it was, I am using the big container to put the sets. These are ones we've already done videos on. And I'm putting them in here. I'm keeping the instructions separate. I'll eventually put those in a binder. But uh, yeah, this is going to be 9 volt or, or actually any train related uh, set, train themed. And yes, tra trains is a theme, uh, or at least it was until the 9 volt era ended. So this is one of those train sets we just uh, recently bought. Man, I wish Lego made stuff like this still. So this is the crane wagon, is what, what the name is. It sits 7817. First came out in 1985. It's from the 4.5 or 12 volt uh, line. It would have had the gray rails. And this one I do remember being available in the U.S. I actually used to own it, and then I sold it, and now I got it again. So basically you got this crane... And you got the little winch there where you can raise and lower it. The guy can sit there and operate it. These things open up. I'll show you how that goes. So now it won't tip over when he's unloading stuff. And he's supposed to hook onto these and then be able to just carry them off. Um, it's very simple set. There's really not much to it. Uh, you know, this part is pretty neat you can actually raise and lower it unlike the, the truck i had where it was stuck in the upright position this one you can actually raise and lower it utilizes a technique piece right there <laughs> to hold the, the cargo that actually you just put it and you gotta lock it in there to pick it up which actually seems like the wrong way to lift stuff because if you got a bunch of barrels stacked on a pallet you lift it by the barrel the barrels are just going to come off right i don't know <laughs> Seems like a bad design. We got our traditional 1980s train worker guy. Happy to be at work. Hoping the crane doesn't fall on him. So one thing that's neat about this set is it's a two-in-one. So there's actually an alternate build on here to show you how to build another type of crane lift here. So I think that's pretty neat. And then it shows a picture of both of the, the designs. Uh, I like the main design, though, for this set. But yeah, isn't that neat? Uh, they did a lot of two-in-ones with the train thing. So now that set's going to be taken apart and put in a box until one day when I can have the train set up or the train display going. So the, the wanted list item I'm going to talk about is set 367. Now there's multiple set 367s. In fact, one of them is one of the moon landing sets. But this is the airport with 
or mini airport with vehicles, some 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 name like that. It was a Samsonite set that came out sometime after 1970 or later. It uses a base plate, which I showed in a video. The base plate as a set was set 078, and it appeared in two other sets. Um, one was this airport with mini airport with vehicles, and there was another one that is also in one of these mysterious uh, sets. And I used to joke, and I did it multiple times on the channel, that the air, mini airport with vehicles was a one of these like made-up Lego sets that somebody invented. Because there wasn't a good quality picture of it online. It wasn't in any database, really. <laughs> and there were no like, parts list and things like that. But, whoa, guess what? All of a sudden, it's there. So I, I realized that I had a comment about seven months ago about it. <laughs> And then I'll, I've had a couple of people mention that, hey, it's on Brick Factory now. And there was another way. Actually, the first website I saw it on was another one a few months back. But, uh, yeah, it's on Brick Factory. Brickfactory.info, by the way, that's an excellent website if you're wanting to get copies of LEGO Instructions. It's not the most user-friendly website because uh, you can't, like, link a, a single instruction. It's like I haven't figured out how to do that. And it's a little monotonous still. It's it's like a website that's never been updated as far as like um, the, the 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 interface of it. <laughs> but it's it's got a lot of Lego instructions. Um, and so now 367, the mini airport with vehicles, is on there. It's basically a bunch of common parts uh, for that era. So I'm going to work on getting the parts where I can build that. Now I want to get a second. I want to get another one of those base plates that, that so like a road, one of the early road plates uh, back then. Um, so that's another thing. I, it's on the wanted list. It's always been on the wanted list because you never see it come up for sale that often. I was fortunate to get one a while back. In fact, I, I wonder if I, yeah, I need to see if I can look up if I did a haul. I think I did a haul with that. I know I did a video talking about the base plate. That may have been the haul. I don't remember. I've made so many videos I can't remember them. So if I cover something I've already covered before, it's no big deal. I think there's some sets I've reviewed three times now. So I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> but thank you everybody that uh, po posted it. So it's like with anything else, if, if there's something I've talked about or something I've been looking for and you see it or you find out information about it, yeah, be sure to, to let me know in the comments, uh, either that video or a new video. I know I'm, I miss a lot of the comments, uh, but it. I was like, when I started searching that set, I searched that number 367 in the comments. I was like, oh, I missed a few comments. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have an item that's on my wanted list now that I can actually start piecing it together and actually build it. Even though I, I would love more than anything to have the actual instructions. So, even though I should be able to build the set, uh, after I acquire the parts for it, it's, it's still going to be on my wanted list. <laughs> I, I do that with some, there's some... If I don't have the instructions or I really want the box, um, I do try to uh, keep it on my wanted list. Oh, and one thing was mentioned, and this is one of the things that uh, Joey Brick Trains and I wanted to verify, is there are certain sets we feel, especially Samsonite sets, that are not in the vault in Denmark, it, and the Lego, any of the Lego, they got multiple Lego vaults where they keep uh, sealed copies of every, supposedly every set ever made. But we strongly believe that there are some Samsonite sets that are not in there. They may not count those because those were produced in the U.S. So I'd like to. That's why I'd like to go to the vault to look at the Samsonite section if there is indeed such a thing. And I feel that that set, the mini airport with vehicles at 367 i think it would have had a brown box a lot of these obscure samsonite sets they don't come in the colorful boxes like you see today well, there's just to pick a random box off of the table here <laughs> you know bright colors lego logo even if it's the old vintage lego logo you 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 don't see that with a lot of samsonite sets a lot of samsonite sets were shipped in what looked like a mailer and they may have been mailed. That may have been the way you bought them, as you bought them online and they mailed them to you. Because <laughs> they're just brown, 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 plain, plain blocks. No, a 
plain brown cardboard box. Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much uh, for watching this video. If you have anything you'd like to share, uh, comments, uh, you know, leave them in the comments below. But we will be doing another one of these videos tomorrow. What will I talk about? I have no idea, but hopefully I will have made some more progress on this basement. See you guys. Bye.